everyone welcome back to the channel we got a huge huge plan going on today with this this little truck right here we are going up and finally we're doing we're taking care of the big burnout that i've been promising you guys she is running mint right now yeah i, I don't really know how this burnout's gonna go it could go one one and done pretty much it could burn to the ground i don't really know now the only reason i say it could burn to the ground which i highly doubt i mean they're it's not likely, but I guess it is possible. I'll show you guys right here is uh, since we hood stacked this thing, we kind of did it like as quickly and like as cheaply as possible, obviously, because it's not that big of a deal. Ugh. But as you can see, it comes straight off of the header and it just makes a, a U straight up through to the hood. The only reason I say this could potentially be a fire hazard is, I mean, not too much on this side because it's pretty open. There's there's nothing within like an inch or two on this side. But this side, you have a lot of AC lines and a lot, especially the power steering. Pretty much just starting this thing up to get it out here. This exhaust gets pretty warm, so I can't imagine how hot it's going to get. Like it might get cherry red down in here. Hopefully nothing ignites. If so, we'll have a garden hose on standby because this is the stack I'm worried about. This truck's been driven probably like 10 miles, if that, since we, uh, we did the hood stack. I don't necessarily know how dangerous they actually are. Like to the truck i don't know if anything's going to ignite right now we are pretty much just waiting on uh dayton you guys know him from uh from he he helped us paint the truck also Derek, he helped me with a couple projects so far so this truck right here she will be going under the spotlight today it's going to be a pretty good burnout at least on this side this this is actually my spare it's been on here since I, i'm assuming the entire life of the truck i have no idea to be honest with you so that tire should be gone by the time this is over well i'm not guaranteeing that tire is going to be gone but this tire, the expensive one, the one that's not really holding up that well even though it has 10 miles on it. This thing is chopped horribly. Obviously, since this is such a smaller tire, we have a welded differential so there's no slipping. That tire is so big, the rotation is completely different. So this tire like slips constantly even though it's not ready to spin yet, if that makes sense. Hopefully nothing catches on fire like that's the biggest thing it's a big day today we're gonna have a couple camera angles lined up for this thing i'll have a, a camera angle inside the truck hopefully everything goes good we actually have a bunch of stuff lined up for today we have the burnout and then after the burnout we have a couple shows i think two shows today that are about 40 45 minutes away from here uh with the black truck that we're going to go attend see what's going on the the show season is starting to wind down a little bit so we're going to try and fit in as many shows as possible obviously you guys already know that we just got back from daytona florida uh you guys can check out that video just in case you haven't seen that that was a hell of a trip that was a lot of fun a lot of stress with uh with the dakota i wanted to do it mainly for this channel for you guys did it on sunday they did the burnout conference Competition on Sunday unfortunately we left on Sunday honestly I, I they said they canceled it Friday and Saturday and I didn't even figure out that they were running it Sunday until I was we were like halfway home so really big downfall there but she's back she still runs for now and we're gonna put her through her paces and hopefully these tires last a decent amount of time we'll have the drone up in there so we can get a lot of good shots for you guys oh well, there's one of them oh, dog you got your shit kickers on oh, on Dakota needs a little drink. Oh, Derek finally showed up. He can barely turn, dude. What's up, bud? <laughs> That's what we're waiting for Eric Costello to get here with his crazy SEMA truck or whatever. I don't know if I, I don't think it's on the channel yet, but Derek's gonna follow me up to the house in my Dakota and Dan's gonna be waiting for Eric. So once Eric gets here, Get everything set up. Ready to go. We got a fire extinguisher. Do this thing. We'll hop on, hop in with uh, Derek, and we'll get this hose hooked up and run a garden hose just in case this thing decides to uh, explode. Garden hose. The big long boy. Come here. We're just about done getting the garden hose hooked up. Want to run this just in case. Just in case. The Dakota doesn't like the burnout and the hood stack catches something on fire. So this little thingy on right here. Still got some hose left. Not surprised. No, that's good enough. These guys are all gonna move their trucks. We got Eric Costello here with his nice 1500. And then we got my Dakota on the spotlight. You know, I'm gonna be making some new marks here. I don't know if this is gonna be the last run that Dakota ever does, but uh, if so, we'll make it a good one. All right, boys, so we got everyone recording right now. We got uh, Dayton and 
the Eric up there, you can't see him. And then the Eric Costello, the one with the SEMA trucks over there. Everyone's helping me. I got the drone in the air. And that's what my phone's doing right now. And here we go, guys. This is it. Hey guys, right before you watch this burnout, just letting you guys know that none of the clips you're about to see are overlaid. However long the burnout is on your screen is actually how long the burnout was in real life. I'm not trying to extend the burnout, make it look longer. So all these clips are perfectly lined up. Nothing's overlap. Enjoy the burnout. See ya. That's as long as I could go for, man. <laughs> I creeped as long as I could. <laughs> Woo. Oh shit, we got hey, we got fire. We got fire. Yep. Yep. Fire. Pop the hood, pop the hood, pop the hood. Yeah, bring that water up here. You got it? <laughs> we did alright. I didn't even know it was on fire until uh, until I put it in park. Look at it, dude. The exhaust is like blue. Whoever said it wouldn't catch fire or thought it, thought I was being overprotective. She caught fire. Was it a good burnout? That was sick. <laughs> that sucks I didn't pop a tire. I kind of didn't hold up my end of the deal. I, I went as far as I could. Was it a good burnout, Derek? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Could have been better. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. It's crazy. It's blue. It did catch fire. It just burned the uh, the brake reservoir inside. It melted some some brake fluid, got on the uh, the exhaust. I'm assuming truck didn't get that hot. As you can see, the needle's a little bit over uh, over the center, but tire's smooth. It's still a little warm. I think it has a, about another minute worth of burning. This tire over here still has tread on it. That is sticky. If you can't tell, my fingers are having a tough time coming off that tread. Let the truck cool down for a second and try her again. All right, one more time. We're not gonna use the drone this time because the drone is like low on memory, but fire extinguisher right there beside me. And uh, we'll get this one going again. We'll put her in first gear this time. Last, last time I accidentally started in drive, it kind of dulled out, but.
Oh, Jesus, dude. It's it's not even blown out yet. I wouldn't stand too close to that, man. That's, that's bubbled right out there. I mean, all the tread is on the ground. We're going to go down because that, that tire is like bubbled right out. I don't know if the cords are showing yet. Oh, yeah, the cords are bubbled right out. We got we to gotta take care of that first. We're going to go take care of that tire because that's like crazy dangerous. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. It's like a bubble. Rip the fender well off. And the other one, the other one's pretty bad, but it's, it's workable. There's still a little bit of tread on there. Well, guys, that, that's pretty much the burnout I, I wanted to do down in Daytona. Never got a chance to do it, uh, unfortunately. But both tires are gone. It even ripped off both fender flares. Well, one side is. Look at this tire back here. This is this is a disaster. Split pretty much right in two. New paint job has got some NASCAR marks on it going. And then this tire is split like right in half. We got a show to go to tonight. We obviously got Eric Costello's truck. Really nice uh, 1500 SEMA build here. And then Dayton and uh, Derek have their trucks. We're going to go pick up my Cummins. And we're going to go have some fun. Just hang out for a little bit. Hopefully you guys like the burnout. So I'll, I'll film a little bit of that car show for you guys. Uh, tonight and I'll see you when I see you.